Let's go over the main characters of Lorraine Hansberry's Raisin in the Sun. Walter. In his mid-30s, Walter Lee is dissatisfied working as a chauffeur for a rich white man. He wants to be treated as the man in charge of the family, and he plans to use his mother's insurance money to invest in liquor. The play is driven in part by the gendered conflict between Walter's ambition and Mama's role as matriarch. Walter Lee is a lean, intense young man, inclined to quick, nervous movements and erratic speech habits. His character embodies the neurotic effects of Langston Hughes's dream deferred. Walter doesn't dry up like a raisin in the sun, but he threatens to explode. His character shows the most significant change, coming into manhood at the end of the play. Mama. In her early 60s, Mama is the beautiful, strong matriarch of the younger family. Mama was widowed before the action of the play takes place, but Big Walter and his legacy are present throughout the play. The whole family waits for the $10,000 life insurance check to arrive in the mail. Ruth and Benita recognize Mama as the one in charge of the money and the family. Mama's role as matriarch conflicts with Walter Lee's expectation of being the man of the house. Mama and her husband fled the racialized violence of the South. She says of their migration, we was worried about not being lynched and getting to the North if we could and how to stay alive and still have a pinch of dignity too. Despite the hardship she has experienced, Mama remains an optimist and buys a house to get her family out of their rat trap apartment. Benita, Walter's younger sister, represents a new modern generation of African Americans, smart and interested in their racial heritage. She wants to go to medical school to help people, a goal that differentiates her from her brother's plan to open a liquor store. Benita's two suitors, George Murchison and Joseph Asagai, highlight two very separate views of African American identity. At the end of the play, her thoughts of marrying Joseph and moving to Africa effectively get rid of the assimilationist George, crystallizing her character's positive sense of African heritage. Ruth. Ruth is described as being as weary as the apartment. She's not old, but she sags under the weight of a dreary life. Ruth works as a cleaning woman for a white family and also does much of the younger family's housework. She has great respect for Mama Younger, but also keenly feels Walter's need to be in charge. Though defeated and exhausted at the play's beginning, as the play progresses, Ruth reveals her hopes for better circumstances and a closer relationship with Walter. Fearful about having a second child in their economic situation, she puts a down payment on an abortion. Her decision to keep her baby adds a positive narrative arc to the play. Travis. Travis is Walter and Ruth's son, a sturdy, handsome boy. With no space of his own in the family apartment, he sleeps on the old couch. He shows a desire to earn his own money and prove his responsibility by carrying groceries after school. Travis represents the sixth generation of youngers and hope for the future.